Hello everybody, because you're all too busy searching dolphin porn, I've created One Minute TCS. In this, the final episode of this series, I'm covering landing in the Mirage 2000C. Set your ILS, TACAN, HSI and radio as required. Make sure you set the radio mode to manual. Turn up your volumes for radio and ILS. Contact ATC, declare inbound and wait for their response. Attempt to visually identify your airfield, because like SNM experiments, instruments can sometimes fail, with hilariously lethal consequences. APP for approach mode on the PCA. The landing speed brackets, runway line and angle of attack will become visible in the HUD. When you capture the ILS beam, the ILS beacon will become visible as a box in your HUD. Steering cues are displayed as arrows around the box and the aim is to get your flight path marker inside that box. Get below 230 knots and lower your landing gear. Adjust the throttle to keep your acceleration chevrons within the landing brackets. Place your flight path marker at the end of the runway and try to keep it along with the ILS box between the landing speed brackets. Maintain an AOA as close to 14 degrees as possible. Touch down, hold the nose up and apply brakes in one second taps below 100 knots. Landing the Mirage combines elements of forward planning, self-belief and the use of instrumentation to project one's future position. Which brings to mind that stock interview question of where do you see yourself in five years time. The only answer being on a yacht snorting cocaine from a whore schniz wondering what kind of fucking idiot would ask such a ridiculous question. Next time I'll be probing the MiG-21. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.